Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on ANSYS and just like we did in the uh, last tutorial where we uh, used a plate with a central hole and calculated the normal stress, uh, we will uh, utilize the same problem to the rectangular plate but this time this will have a square hole. So the problem definition is simple. This is a rectangular plate of dimension 1000 mm upon 400 mm and the whole dimension which is a square hole is 200 uh, mm right and then we will apply a tension load of 4000 newton all right so let's see how we can uh, do this in ANSYS I'll close this you can see I have already done this and uh, just like the circular hole this one is also symmetric with the x and y axis so we will utilize only the quadrant of the uh, part all right so let's see how we can do this i'll delete everything all right so we are right now in the fresh workbench so let's start with the static structure We'll keep the engineering data to the default values, the structural steel and the related values according to the material. We don't want to mess with that. So this time let's name it plate with central square hole. Right, then we'll start with the geometry. And we will sketch our part in the design modeler. Now the first thing that we will do in the design modeler is obviously going to units and setting it to millimeter. Now let's select XY plane, right click, look at, then switch it to sketching and start with a rectangle. Draw one rectangle and another small rectangle. Now we'll go to modify. Okay, we'll go to constraint, we'll go for symmetry, select y axis and these two edges. So now since the y axis already selected, I will select these two edges of the small rectangle. Now right click, go for select new symmetry axis, this time select x axis and the other two edges of rectangle. And uh, while the x axis is selected, We'll select the other two edges of the smaller rectangle. Since our uh, sketch is symmetric, we'll go for dimension. We'll dimension this one, this one, this one, and this one. I will change the values. So this one is 1000 mm. This thing is 200. I think this one is 400. This thing is 200 again. So again, come to your uh, graphics area, right click and go for zoom to fit. And here you can see your sketch. Ready. Now the next thing that we'll do is extrude it up to a depth of 10 mm. Generate. And yeah, we have our plate with the square Hole. Now since this is symmetric to x and y axis, we will utilize only the quadrant. So for that, let's create a symmetry. Go to tools. Go for symmetry. In the symmetry plane, we'll select zx plane. Apply. Generate. Again, go for tools and symmetry. This time, select yz plane and symmetry plane. Apply. And then generate. So we are basically interested in calculating the stress in the quadrant of our model right from here we can close the design modeler and we will double click on our model in the project schematic which will again invoke the mechanical model window where we can do the meshing and we can pretty much apply the loads it's 
it will take few seconds to load in the mechanical window all right so we have our quadrant model of the plate now the first thing that we will do is we'll set the units so make sure your units are in mmkg metric right since that is set we'll select the mesh right click go for generate mesh this will create a default mesh which obviously has uh, 30, 136 elements and 1090 nodes right next thing that we will do is we will uh, give the boundary condition so for that let's go to static structure right click insert pressure now we want to give pressure on this face so go for face selection and select this face apply and since the pressure we have already calculated in the previous tutorial was 1 MPa so we'll insert minus 1 because it's a tensile force after that we will select again a static structural right click insert go for displacement and this time the bottom face apply and this will be free in x and z direction but it's zero in y direction all right we'll give few more displacements so on the left face of this one this time x will be zero and the other two are free another displacement on the back face so this face where z will be zero and apply now since we have uh, applied load and the boundary condition to our model we'll go to solution and insert normal stress now make sure your orientation is x-axis in the details of normal stress and yeah that's fine for now we can right click in the solution and go for solve right so this one is our normal stress in the x direction which is obviously 2.90363 maximum now we can go to results and put maximum and minimum probe so that you can see where the values are maximum and minimum you can also go to edges and go for no wireframe so you can get a graphic like this All right this obviously shows that the maximum stress is of 2.9 mpa you can see the units is in mpa right now what we can do is we can uh, play with some mesh sizing so that we can see how the uh, stress is changing according to the mesh so let's go for mesh right click insert sizing in the geometry make sure your body selection and select your geometry apply and in the element size let's go for our 10 mm right so then we will go for solution solve and if we see our normal stress now it's changed to 3.4 so obviously it's increased and there is a 17 percent approximate uh, increase in the uh, stress we can further reduce the mesh sizing to see the uh, changes in the stress All right you can also insert uh, in the solution right click insert go for stress 
and error and go for solve so you can see the structural error pretty much shows that this uh, corner uh, is uh, the place where we can get the uh, failure right that's what the structural error is showing okay so uh, if we study the structural error it says that uh, the body will fail from this place so what we can do is we can uh, insert a corner over here and then calculate the uh, stress but in in real life uh, if you manufacture a real plate the corner cannot be zero right it should be there should be some radius so we'll introduce some radius so for that let's close this mechanical window for now and let's double click on the geometry to start with the design modeler again and since we have our plate already we will just introduce our fillet so for that we will expand our tree outline go to a sketch say look at and from here we can go to sketching modify fillet now the radius fillet that we want to give is let's say 15 mm and on this edge and this edge right go for generate and yeah we have our fillet done right we will switch to model tab so for that it it's giving us a workbench message which says upstream data needs to be read would you like to read the upstream data yes i want to read that because we want the changes in the model to be updated according to the geometry takes few seconds to load the mechanical window All right you can see the the changes have been included and if we come to solution and solve it now we can delete the body sizing because we want to check it with the default mesh all right so this is the default mesh it has 119 elements for now and if we see the normal stress it's 3.9786 approximately for megapascals right we can uh, then insert into the normal stress go for convergence in the details of convergence go for 5% change and solve it okay then go for solution in the details of solution we need to uh, change the max refinement loop so let's go for a 3 and refinement depth 3 then we will solve it once the solution process is finished let's click convergence and you can see how the percentage change is happening right we had uh, 119 elements and we significantly increased the number of elements to 5140 right
you might be getting this kind of error in convergence that's because the limitation in the student version of ANSYS so if I see if I select, select by error messages your product license has numerical problem size you cannot exceed these problem size limits so basically these are the limitations in the ANSYS student workbench but you get the idea right so that's what I was uh, planning to you can see there is a change in the normal stress as well in the extra action and you can pretty much utilize this tool so yeah that's it for this tutorial I hope you uh, I hope you can uh, understand the uh, things that we did in this one and if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this thank you guys peace out